Rice comes in many different varieties, with colors ranging from black to purple to red. And you may already be aware of the most common, white rice. Some people claim that rice is not nutritious and will cause you to gain weight. But is this cheap food, a staple for more than half of the world's population, really that bad? In today's video, we'll explore the different varieties and colors to understand the rice health debate. Let's get started. Looking at the size of rice grains. Rice comes in short, medium, or long grains. Short grain rice has a chewy texture and is commonly used in sushi. Medium grain rice is more tender and sticks together easily, whereas long grain rice, such as basmati brown and jasmine, tends to stay separate and fluffy after cooking. Now let's get into the healthiest varieties. First on our list is brown rice. Brown rice is whole grain rice without the outer protective shell known as the hull. Unlike white rice, it still has a bran layer and a germ, both of which are high in nutrients. The bran layer contains the flavonoid antioxidants apigenin, quercetin, and lutein. Regular consumption of flavonoid-rich foods is associated with a reduced risk of chronic diseases such as cardiovascular disease and certain malignancies. Whole grains, such as brown rice, are more nutritious than processed grains. Brown rice has roughly three times more fiber and is higher in protein than white rice, which makes you feel fuller faster and keeps your digestive system running smoothly. Federal dietary guidelines recommend at least three ounces of whole grains per day. Brown rice may be a better option for those with diabetes because it's high in magnesium, a mineral necessary for blood sugar and insulin metabolism. A study of 15 overweight adults found that eating 7 ounces or 200 grams of brown rice for 5 days resulted in significantly lower fasting blood sugar and insulin levels than eating the same amount of white rice. The percentage change in fasting insulin in the brown rice group was almost 60% lower than the 5-day percentage change in the white rice group. Now let's explore nutritious red rice. Red rice varieties such as Himalayan and Thai red cargo rice contain an impressive array of nutrients and beneficial plant compounds. This rice is cultivated across countries such as Sri Lanka, the Philippines, Korea, China, Japan, and India, and includes more protein and fiber than white rice varieties and really shines in terms of antioxidant content. It's high in flavonoid antioxidants including anthocyanins, apigenin, mericetin, and quercetin, just like black rice. In fact, studies show that red rice has a more extraordinary ability to fight free radicals and contains higher levels of flavonoid antioxidants than brown rice. Flavonoids have been shown to reduce inflammation, limit free radical production, and lessen the chance of developing chronic diseases like diabetes and heart problems. Are you looking for gluten-free, vegan, black, organic rice? You can rest assured that this kosher product, Bee Green Organic Black Rice, is among the best on the market. This is available in a pack of three non-GMO. It's high in complex carbohydrates, insoluble fiber, and minerals. A powerful antioxidant and delicious heirloom black rice should not be overlooked. Black rice is a fantastic source of antioxidants. Black rice has a rich black hue that frequently turns purple when cooked. Examples of black rice are Thai jasmine black rice and Indonesian black rice. This variety is also known as forbidden rice because it's said to have been reserved for royalty in ancient China. According to research, black rice has the highest antioxidant activity of any variety. Antioxidants protect cells from damage caused by an excess of molecules known as free radicals, which contribute to oxidative stress. Chronic conditions such as heart disease, certain cancers, and mental decline have all been linked to oxidative stress. Anthocyanins, a group of flavonoid plant pigments with powerful antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties, are abundant in black rice. Anthocyanins have also been shown to have anti-cancer properties. According to population studies, eating more anthocyanin-rich foods is associated with a lower risk of certain cancers, including colorectal cancer. Anthocyanins derived from black rice effectively suppress the growth and spread of human breast cancer cells in test tube studies. Now moving on to wild rice. Though wild rice is technically the seeds of aquatic grasses, it's commonly used in the kitchen the same way rice is. It grows in the marshlands across Canada from Manitoba all the way to the Atlantic Ocean and throughout much of eastern United States. Wild rice can be classified as whole grain and contains roughly three times as much fiber and protein as white rice, making it a more filling option. Also, animal studies have linked it to a variety of health benefits. 
For example, rodent studies show that substituting wild rice for white rice effectively lowers triglyceride and cholesterol levels, insulin resistance, and oxidative stress, all of which are major risk factors for heart disease. Wild rice contains vitamins and minerals such as B vitamins, magnesium, and manganese. Furthermore, studies show it has up to 30 times the antioxidant activity of white rice. What is polished white rice? White polished is essentially rice stripped of its husk, bran, and germ using machinery. The bran and germ lose their nutrients and valuable plant chemicals during this process, which extends the product's shelf life. As a result, it has less fiber, protein, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals than brown rice. White polished rice is less filling and has a higher impact on the blood sugar than brown rice because it contains less fiber and protein. It also contains fewer antioxidants than brown, black, red, or wild varieties. Because it has a lot of fiber, polished white rice is best for kids and older people because it's easy to digest. Diarrhea, colitis, and dysentery are just a few digestive conditions it aids in treating. It also contains a moderate amount of protein. For every 150 grams of rice, it contains 5 grams. Polished rice can also be used as a skin-soothing powder. Finally, when it boils down to picking the perfect rice, it all depends on various factors. Personal choice, culture, environmental conditions, local availability, and disease and ailments determine what rice you should consume. But let's take this discussion further. Consuming whole grains as opposed to refined grains is healthier, according to research. One study, including over 190,000 adults, discovered that swapping 50 grams of white rice for the same quantity of brown rice daily resulted in roughly a 16% lower risk of type 2 diabetes. Whole grain brown, red, black, or wild rice is higher in antioxidants that help fight disease. A diet rich in foods that contain antioxidants has several positive effects on health. Studies show that eating more dietary antioxidants decreases the risk of developing disease, including metabolic syndrome and depression. Depending on the dish you're making, you may want to choose your rice based on its flavor profile. Some recipes taste better and are more authentic when made with white rice, while others benefit from the nutty flavor of brown rice. Also, did you know that when white rice is cooked and then cooled, it forms resistant starch? Starch is difficult to digest, so eating cooked rice will impact your blood sugar levels less. Whatever rice you choose, remember to keep portion sizes in mind. Though brown, red, wild, and black rice are more nutritious than white, you can include all types of rice in your diet as long as you watch your portion sizes. Rice provides protein, healthy fat, fiber, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. It's a versatile grain available almost everywhere and can be used in a variety of recipes. Are you interested in learning more about rice? Let's keep the conversation going with a few more rice-related videos, shall we? Watch brown rice or white rice, which is better for your health? Or this is what happens to your body when you eat black rice. Go ahead, click one, or even better watch both videos to learn how you can benefit from different rice varieties. What's your favorite type of rice? Let us know in the comments below.